My name is Hamad Saddam Shamsi. I'm in grade 9. My age is 11. I'm gonna go to grade 7 this year. My name is Shamma. Right now I am in grade 8. Uh, I'm grade 4. I'm trying to grade 5. My name is Ahmed Hashim Hashmi. I'm going to grade 8. STEM. S for science. T for technology. And E for engineer. M for math. TechQuest curriculum is meant to introduce um, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics to uh, young people. So the theme for TechQuest this year was Cities of the Future. And so all of the different modules the students participated in gave them exposure to different technologies and ideas that we think will be very important to cities in the future. Today we work with drones. We learned how to fly them, how to do moves with them, and the hardest thing we ever uh, uh, worked with drones was today was when they put an obstacle and they let and they let us uh, move the drone into that obstacle. It was very hard. It was very hard. But with training and we do it a lot, a lot, then it, will be, it became easy. إن الاكسسات كان غير متوقع الطيارة ما تمشي على حسب التوجهات اللي تعطيها إياها تتحرك يمين أو يسار فكسائق الطيارة لازم تعرف تحركات الطيارة وتفكر قبل ما تأخذ أي خطوة. I learned how to make lights just made out of water. The sun is here and here is the house. That house is blocking the sunlight of that house, so that doesn't have a sunlight. Instead of using electric and light bulb. You can use um, a bottle of water, like I told you, tie it in the waist, and put it in the roof. After it, the, the bottle of water reflects the sunlight, like the moon, and get it to the place where the dark is. So that is like a bulb, uh, like a light bulb. And thanks to iTech, they taught me about that when they brought uh, people from Microsoft. They taught me about a very nice program called Kodu. And Kodu is a beginner's program for making games. It's much easier. Microsoft thought about it and wanted to get students and uh, kids to start uh, developing their own games. So the idea of Kodo is providing a platform for students to start developing games using drag drop, very simple games, and they can publish these games in uh, Xbox and, uh, and uh, the PC. Today we use the 3D printer. It's very cool and I did this ring, it have my name, and this castle, it have a stairs from inside. First you program computer and you do your des design, it's very, very detailed. You have to design every single thing. I learned that recycling is very important for our, uh, for our planet and we should recycle always. One lesson that children can learn from this particular place about sustainability is the fact that sustainability can actually work. It can be commercially viable, it's something that brings together a lot of technology, a lot of various elements and uh, sort of brings it together in such a way that everything functions beautifully so that you can produce uh, more from less. The idea of this workshop was to collaborate with Attic and make the students realize at a very young age that how the innovation in technology touches them in their everyday life. Well, if you think about it, I mean, some of the, the challenges that we have faced today, we don't have solutions today. Some of these solutions are yet to be invented. So we need to have, you know, energized young people, smart people with smart ideas to meet the challenges ahead. So it's important for us, you know, to catch them young so that they get interested around STEM because we want these people, because these are the guys that ultimately will create the solutions for the challenges that we, we face, whether it's for the environment, in healthcare, uh, in business. Uh, there are lots of things that, you know, will be, need to be, to be met in the future. And we need to capture these guys so to make sure that, you know, we have these next generation of innovators and scientists coming through. I think it's very useful for students um, at this age, in middle school and high school, uh, to understand what technology is about, what science is about. Uh, I think it's an eye-opening opportunity for them as they start to prepare for their future and their career. Abu Dhabi leaders want to see a knowledge-based economy. Technology is the center point of that, and you, the youth, are the pillars of this progression on technology in a country. 
برنامج تكوات إحدى مبادرات شركة آتك في مجال تنمية الكوادر البشرية برنامج تكوست عبارة عن أسبوعين يتعرفون فيها الطلاب الإماراتيين على مجالات العلوم والتكنولوجيا والرياضيات والهندسة بأسلوب متميز. Technology is really important to the EE, especially the sustainable technology since we need renewable resources. I joined TechQuest because I'm really interested in technology. My parents told me this will help me a lot in college. I joined TechQuest because I, I think it's interesting and my passion is science, so this, this helped me in summer. My friends were pulling me down, don't go, it's summer, relax, uh, go out with us. I didn't listen to them, I listened to my parents, went for it, and, uh, it was worth it. to speak with the, the whole family, with the cousin, with the, their friend, about, and they try to uh, teach us a lot of information that they, they, they got it from here. They, you know, they change. They change too much. They start to open also the internet. They make uh, Google a lot of information. Our children is uh, uh, our future for the country. I find uh, his interest uh, to be in this course and to be uh, in a future course also and every day he comes with a new idea I think this is great it was much more than what I expected much more I want to tell my friends that uh, come to Tech West you won't regret you have a chance you have your skills to do uh, join Tech West Tech West Tech West we love Tech West When I grow up, I want to be a scientist, an architect. I want to study uh, technologies and I want to work at that. I want to introduce the subject of gaming to Apple technologies. I want to be engineering, building houses and skyscrapers.